Welcome back YouTube to the Powered by 8 Racing YouTube channel. I am going to get started on the interior today. I want to get it painted up and um, get that ready to go. I don't know if you guys are like me, you can probably make that in the comments section that um, I look at stuff and I think it's only gonna take me a couple hours and then four days later, I'm still doing the same dang thing. That's kind of what this inter interiors turned out to be like. Um, um, you can see that I uh, finally got everything cleaned up, cleaned out. I had to weld those holes shut that I had cut when I did these. Um, so I had to weld those up. It's not perfect, but at least the holes are covered up. And I cut off some studs that I didn't need up in the firewall area and whatnot. So that's all ready to go. I just need to get everything cleaned out. One last vacuum. I'm going to do some surface prep, get it taped off the areas that I don't need. And then I'll get the painting. Um, I cut the hole in the rear of the car here. So that'll be nice, easy access to the diff and the trans. Uh, removing it will be much easier because you don't have the, the bump here uh, that the C5s have and it makes it really difficult to get the um, makes it difficult to get the diff out without raising the car up a lot so that's kind of be my goal I, I don't know if I'll be able to get much video of the painting itself just because of the overspray and whatnot I'm gonna do it in the garage I'm just gonna do it just crude and just cover the car with plastic and um, go in there and probably get high from the fumes right and then as I was going all through the engine bay, I discovered that my fender has detached itself from, from the frame. So I ordered some epoxy. I think I'm going to just try to just do it crudely, get it back to where it needs to be. Um, it's a race car, so I'm not super worried about it, but I've also seen it done and that whole area has to come off and I'm not really a body guy that wants to get that deep into a fender of a car that it doesn't really matter on as long as it's held on there I guess that's all that really matters and uh, in fact you know some guys don't even run the inner fender uh, of their cars and they just run uh, I think just like tubing out to hold the fenders up from the frame so they're there just for support, keep dirt out of the engine bay and whatnot, but I don't think that it's like a structural component other than just to hold the fenders on. Um, so I'm not super worried about that, but I will leave you here and I'm gonna get started on prepping the interior. All right, so I've got uh, most of the interior taped off. I'm gonna come back through with some paper uh, to cover some of the areas that I don't wanna just tape 18 inches of tape onto. So what we have now is blue tape over everything. Um, this would have been a lot easier if I would have known I was gonna paint the interior. I'm only doing up to that line right here. So I'm only going that high up with the tape and it should be okay. And I'm going to move on to the back section now and I can lift the car up and it's actually really convenient because I can climb in the hole and stand up and do the backside area that I need to do. So that didn't sound right, but I'm gonna go get in the backside hole. All right, so got all of the taping done. I just got it all etched and cleaned up. So I went ahead and um, put paper around the door so I don't get any overspray on the door sills. Taped all the bars. Again, I'm not going past that. Um, this bar here, so not worried about it going too high. And then the trunk, I taped up those bars. So we're ready to go. And again, I'm only taping, I'm only gonna, well, I guess the back doesn't matter, but about where the trunk line is on the top there, that's about as far as I'll be um, painting. So I'm going to get it all primed up and let that dry a little bit and then I'll paint it, let that dry a little bit and start hoping parts start rolling in. All right, 
I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's day two, and I got the Decarter primed last night, and I wanted to let the primer dry. It got late, and I had some other things to do, so primer is nice and dry now, so I'll be able to just get in here and paint. So as you can see, the interior is primed. It is ready. And um, trunk area primed as well. So I will get to painting. The next stop is going to be a finished painted interior. And then once that dries up a little bit, I'll be able to tear the tape off. I would do it when it's tacky, but I can't because I can't get to the window and stuff. I might be able to get to a little bit of it, but we'll just play it by ear. But that's that time to start painting. I don't know. As soon as I started painting, I immediately regretted like getting myself into it this deep. All I can say is that if you ever think you're going to cage your car when you have it stripped out, just go ahead and paint it. When the carpet's not in the car anymore, it'll look much better painted. So just take the, the day that it'll take you to get it um, prepped and painted before you start doing your cage because once the cage is in there it's just made it so much more difficult to do and I would have done it completely different I probably would have went up the A pillars done the ceiling the ceiling the roof um, depending on how you do that you know if you take your I didn't take the roof off the car I know that's something that you can do but that's not something that we did but I probably would have painted the roof of the car the A pillars B pillars and all that with the cage there I mean, you have like this much space. I just think it would have looked really just um, not very good. So I left that alone and just decided to paint, like I said, the lower half of the car. So, all right, I'm going to get the painting. And when I see you again, the interior will be painted. All right, so paint's done. It's all dried. It's a little tacky still. It's been a couple hours, but I'm going to let it dry. I don't have anything else to do inside the car right now. Um, but it turned out pretty good. I really like that um, the flake that it did. I don't know how it'll show up on camera. I left the garage door open so that it has a little bit more light. Um, but this is like a titanium silver metallic. Um, as I was spraying it, you could see the metal flakes just floating um, with the dust. But yeah, it's gonna look pretty nice. Um, change the, uh, the way that the car will look, cleans it up a bunch. Um, just gives it that next level. But again, I, like I said before, if I was to do it again, um, I would have done it with the cage out of the car. Obviously it makes it a lot easier. You can just get in and get out with not much of a fuss. Um, not probably not much taping off to do, but it's done. I'm happy with it. And I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, I think is what they all say. But nonetheless, uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Power by your old show.